Hello everyone, this is Anirudh. Today I am going to show you how you can show a column description, SharePoint column description to a Power Apps uh, field in text. Okay. What I mean is, let's say this is a column, correct? So if I go to, let's say, edit. So there is a description. In this description, I have given one kind of, I mean, instruction text. And this text, I wanted to appear in... Uh, let's say here okay as a placeholder so before typing anything the user understand what kind of i mean field it is based on that he can take action now the good part having a description of every uh, column is like whenever someone actually click on new they also can see in the share part correct so it is always a good to have thing in the both uh, uh, SharePoint and also in Power Apps. So in uh, when you create one SharePoint list and create one column, you can provide the description. Correct? It automatically appear here. So there will be no change or no some work around kind of things. But in Power Apps, as you know, let's let me show you how it happened. So I have created one new screen. I've just uh, wanted to place one form. This is the form. In this form, I will take that list. What is happening? You can see fewer blanks. Some are fine text if it is a drop down list. But my description is not available here of course there are <clears throat> few kind of things uh, for example one of the function is called data source info you need to put your data source then which property you actually wanted to check so what i wanted to check is let's say display name of the column of title what is the title display name in my case it is barcode i have renamed that is the reason it is showing the uh, inter if you pass the original internal name it will give you the uh, display name but here there is nothing called description that is the challenge i mean i hope uh, microsoft will do this thing in the long run but currently there is a no such provision that you will pro give the property of description automatically you will get so there should be a workaround now one simple thing you can do you just select every uh, field and there is a hint text here you can provide your hint text correct it automatically appears as a hint text but manually i don't want it to do so that is the reason of making today's video and as i said it is for hint text for single line of text for here it is a different property uh, the property is called input text placeholder or drop down correct here you need to provide your help test text now uh, for this reason what i have done is i have created one separate list and there i have created two column one is title one is column description here all the column name will be appear and their description will be appear but uh, of course you can do manually and uh, uh, connect that app to this list and uh, filter based on your column correct so that will be not a uh, very much problem but let's say you have 50 column list you cannot copy every column name and uh, put the description also sometimes description get changed sometimes column name get changed those kind of things will not happen here i mean it will be not automatically sync so today's video is all about to create one flow that flow will work or automate all this thing i mean whenever you change something in the uh, actual list whether the column name or description it will update this list automatically okay that is the challenge so now what i wanted to tell you that let's say here what i have done is in the start button so i have uh, connected that uh, list also 
uh, the secondary list I have created one collection that collection actually taking the all title and their description in that collection and it will redirect to the second screen so what i have done is let's say if i click if you see it everything get populated okay so why because that collection get created okay and i have filtered every every field with their uh, corresponding name of the field correct like this so what you need to do basically let let me show in the real part here so in the hint text what i will do i will filter filter that collection i have created and then i will filter with the title and uh, what i will do is basically parent dot display name and it will return you a collection so i will take only the first one and the property i wanted to take is column description right you can see here now uh, if you ask me why i actually put parent dot display name this is the control i am targeting so this is the control parent is this data card this data card there is a display name property and this display name is the name of the column correct so you need to filter always with the with the column name uh, for this list correct then you will get the description that is the thing now what i will do is i will copy this thing and i will paste in every field in text tab you come here okay like this so when there is a drop down so what you will do is in the drop down you will go here you will put paste your thing so it will automatically come like this so all the field you can do like this as i said earlier you can do it manually because maybe you will think that once you created the list column and their description it will not get changed so manually you can do there is no problem but if you think it, it should be best to do with the dynamic because sometimes the description uh, you can change anytime from here so you can create one uh, list separate list without having any flow so that manually you will uh, manage this list and the related column and description will appear in the um, power apps okay that can be done but if you want everything automate even this uh, column and the description let's see the flow how the flow is and how it is working for example uh, let me do one thing what i will do is i'll go edit i'll take one two three okay update the thing and then one flow is there i have attached you can run when you run if you come here just wait for few seconds within few seconds it will you can see one two three appear okay so this is how it is happening so as a admin whenever i change or update anything i will select and run the floor the flow will do all this work creating all the columns and their description it will fetch from this list reading the properties okay now this is one of the trigger i have uh, created but you, you can change any time i mean you can make it manual trigger or something like that second is i have get i get all the all the uh, entries all the items from this uh, this list okay because i wanted to del i deleted everything from clean the list this is the most powerful uh, action i can say in the microsoft power automate um so here what i have done is let's say this is your site okay. you need to understand this thing this is the core part of today's video okay now this is the api so you will copy this api till here and paste it here okay Now, 
what I will do is I will create one tab. You can see so many APIs are there. Okay, if you want author details, you can call this API. If you want to check the role assignments, you can call this API. So there are many kind of API. So one of the API is called this fields. So if you want list related, whatever fields it is, you wanted to uh, get the properties and so that is if you go to the fields api let's let you see let me show you here what i will do i will do like this what will happen it will give me the all the fields all the fields related to that list but if i close this you can see 90 items that means 90 fields are there here i can tell you there are almost uh, many kind of hidden hidden column many kind of uh, inbuilt column in in every list so my column uh, count is only 14 but you can see there are 90 items it is showing so what i need to do is i need to filter filter out all the read only column correct so this is the reason i have provided here read only column and the hidden column Now you can see only that 15 item, 15 columns are there, correct? So those 15 columns you can see. Now here many properties are there, title, description, you can see the description are coming and title means, title is column name and description uh, is the description of that column. So I need to read basically these two properties uh, from this API and uh, write it again in the same list, correct? Yeah. So one of the thing I have done, uh, you should do for the first time at least before creating all these things. So when you uh, run this action, you need to check what kind of things you are getting from here, basically. So there will be a JSON format, just like this, correct? This kind of things you will get here in the compose. You need to copy it and you need to use this parse JSON action. When you get it, you'll click this and paste that JSON format here. Okay, let me show you at least once. So what I will do is, I'll just. So what happened is this compose. What you need to do basically, you need to copy the whole thing and uh, then come here and then go to JSON parse JSON. Okay, what is the content? My content is this body. And here it actually expecting some schema. So the schema will be this one. Okay, you just need to paste it. Now you can see that thing come. So if you're not sure how it is coming, so that is the reason I am telling you, you will create one compose action. You just put that body part of I mean output of this action and then you will get something run once at least you will get something whatever you get that format you just copy that schema and that schema you need to paste it here okay i don't want it to double thing so i am deleting right now okay that is the one of the thing one thing i just for, uh, forget to tell you is that in apply to each there is a option called concurrent uh, control concurrent control you need to enable by default it is disabled and you do it maximum why because what we are doing is we want to delete everything so there is a nothing called you need to go for sequential one by one concurrency is 50 means 50 thread will create once and it will parallelly uh, go and do their job okay so it will be much more faster that is the reason it is not taking one by one by one and deleting what it is doing it is actually reading everything in this list and delete at once okay that is that is how it is. you will parse the json and then you will come here and again apply to each and create that item in this uh, list also correct so only the title and the description you will provide here because whenever you select you can see the title and the description will appear here because all these properties will come after parsing the json Okay, now it is you which uh, property you wanted to choose, correct? 
so yeah that's all from today thanks for watching